share the same sentiment and idealism and the dream world of, uh, of going someplace. And that place to me was very foreign, very magical. And when my father would go back to Mexico and tell us about uh, his travels and uh, tell us about the houses and the hills and the grapes, I was enamored with the concept. Um, so yes, I was really looking forward. I mean, at that time I was a very young uh, individual, but I, I wanted to share his sentiment and the love of, of vineyards. Hi there, today we are at Ceja Vineyards in Caneros and I'm speaking with Amelia Ceja of Ceja Vineyards and she's going to share with us a little bit about the history and their winemaking style and so many wonderful things they have going on here. Hi Amelia. Hi Pam, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Oh, delightful. Beautiful day. We've come a long way. We are immigrants from Mexico. We arrived here in the late 60s and uh, we worked in the vineyards and in the early 80s we purchased our first property in Carneros and uh, we launched our brand in 2001. Sadalina, as you know, is the name of a, uh, of a female, just like Mary and uh, Jane, so on and so forth. And when my father, I, I clearly recall, he used to speak of, well, Sadalina is a beautiful place. And not knowing better, my brother said, well, okay, uh, Sadalina, is that a lady or who is she? Is she your girlfriend? I'm sure that's what he was thinking. But of course not. That's a beautiful uh, town here in the Napa Valley. Yes. And we're producing the style of wines that we love with all the food that we like to prepare, which is Mexican cuisine. Our beginnings here, they were uh, very humble and, and the little bit of success that we have had was based on a lot of work, yes, a lot of support. Food has played a major role in my life. Therefore, um, we've incorporated uh, our wine production to uh, complement all of the style of food that we love. So I think that all of that goodwill, I want to pass it on to our kids so that they can carry the flag on to the next stage. And I'm sure that with their knowledge, their education, and their passion for the family business, they will take Seja to a place that I can only imagine. We are releasing an online bicultural cooking show titled Salud Napa, Taste the Lifestyle, and Ariel, my son is uh, directing it and producing it. We're excited to kind of start this new venture that I think will revolutionize how people see at first Latino food, because right? that's what we're going to be focusing uh, on, or at least Mexican dishes, and pairing them with wine. And so I think, uh, you know, with, with our Ceja wines, of course, uh, it will be a, a fun project. Hey, my name is Dahlia Ceja, and I am the Director of Sales and Marketing here at Ceja Vineyards. This is our Bella Rosa, also known as Beautiful Rosé. And this is a blend of 80% Syrah, 20% Pinot Noir. Bone dry, so no residual sugar, but crisp, refreshing, I think perfect for, you know, warm days like today. So to pour you a little bit, here we are. It's a really nice, beautiful, rich strawberry color. We left it on its skins for 24 hours. In, again, in a typical rosé, dry, no residual sugar, there's not so much the perceived sweetness, but the fruit characteristic really shines through. And to us, essences are characteristics of strawberry, cherry, ruby, grapefruit. Part of our philosophy, philosophy too, is making food-friendly wines, meaning low in alcohol content. And this, to me, is amazing, exactly. Food-friendly, and the other day my mom made a carne asada, you know, with grilled veggies, which to me, it was just an amazing combination. Cheers. 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 Salud. 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 Ariel Seja, part of the Seja family, wanting to invite you to our downtown salon on First Street in Napa. Uh, something we opened about two years ago, uh, a place where locals and tourists alike could come, enjoy all our wines by the glass, have little flights, munchies, and of course take part in our salsa dancing Saturdays, where every Saturday at 7.30 I start teaching a beginner's class, followed by the dance party till midnight. 